Hello, everybody. I'm I'm sorry this one's a little late. I've been busy today. So, with that being said, we are going to get into this. I hope, as of right now, at uh, almost ten o'clock Eastern, we have five, six mass situations that occurred. The from the fourth until the tenth. So, with that being said, let me bring up so you guys can actually see these. There we go. This is where what I go off of. So, you got one on the fourth, one on the sixth, one on the seventh, and three on the tenth. So, with that being said, let's get into these. I will show you the reports. And, um, yeah, we are going, they don't really like that I show you these, but I'm going to continue to do it. So, with that, let's get into the first one. All right. All right, teen unalived in SEPTA bus stop situation identified as I'm a Tope Institute Charter High School student. Let's listen. Let's find out about this. So here we go. The big story on Action News tonight is the morning and exasperation in the Philadelphia neighborhood in the wake of that Deadly quintuple shooting yesterday, a 17-year-old boy killed right down the street from his school. Tonight, we know that boy's name. Damon Taylor was a student at Inatep Institute Charter School in Ogons. That school was closed today as the community mourns his killing. Police say Taylor was targeted by two gunmen yesterday as he waited at a SEPTA bus stop. Four others, including two other teens and two women sitting on that bus, were also shot. Action News reporter Andy McCormick live outside that school. Now, Andy, where does this investigation stand tonight? Well, Brian, police sources say that they're still trying to figure out a clear motive for the shooting and whether or not it stemmed from an argument among the teens earlier in the day. 17-year-old Damon Taylor is seen here during karaoke at his high school, Imhotep Charter, and here in the classroom. His school releasing a statement today saying, in part, we will remember his jokes, smile, and curiosity for learning. Taylor was killed by gunfire at a SEPTA bus stop at Ogons and Godfrey yesterday afternoon. Two other teens, ages 14 and 15, suffered graze wounds. The bullets also pierced a Route 6 SEPTA bus, injuring two women inside, ages 71 and 50. Witnesses say two people walked up and started shooting. This is an absolute outrage. It will be solved. Those responsible will be vigorously prosecuted. Today, District Attorney Larry Krasner said his office responded and also provided outreach to victims at the scene. The latest shooting put safety on the transit system in the spotlight again. Governor Josh Shapiro signed Act 40 into law, which would assign a special prosecutor from the Attorney General's office for crimes committed on or near SEPTA property. Krasner, plus the Senate Democratic Caucus and the NAACP, have criticized the move, saying it infringes upon voters rights who elected him into office. I don't know a better group of prosecutors than the ones who work with me. I don't. I don't. These are remarkable, capable people who work around the clock and frankly, not interested. Now, staff at the high school did have a meeting here today. However, classes were canceled for students. Tomorrow, they will be virtual. They will welcome the students back in person on Thursday, and counselors will be on hand. For now, reporting live in Germantown, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. Uh, this is senseless, people. I'm saying it now. It's senseless, but what do you expect? People. 
Here we go again. Another Philadelphia. Eight teams injured in Philadelphia bus situation. Fourth gunfire incident in as many days. News is breaking in Philadelphia. Eight high school students were shot at a SEPTA bus stop this afternoon. The victims are all between the ages of 15 and 17, seven boys and one girl. They are all students at Northeast High School in Northeast Philadelphia. Police say the victims were waiting for a bus when three people in masks pulled up in a car and opened fire. The shooters fired more than 30 times and then took off in a blue Hyundai Elantra. One of the victims is in critical condition. It is the fourth shooting since Sunday at SEPTA bus stops or on SEPTA buses. Yeah. But they don't Yeah. Let's continue. We got another one. And this is Goldsboro, North Carolina, this next one. Let's go. In Wayne County, a Goldsboro man now charged with four counts of attempted murder after allegedly shooting into an occupied car where a baby was inside. Die. We first told you about this story yesterday when we were reporting it as a double shooting. Police now tell us there were more people inside the car with 39-year-old Vanel Garner and 32-year-old Letitia Pearsall. 39-year-old Asia Cobb and a one-year-old boy were also victims in that incident. 34-year-old James Darden was arrested today and charged with four counts of attempted murder as well as multiple counts of discharging a weapon into an occupied vehicle. Darden is being held at the Wayne County Detention Center. His first court appearance is on Monday. But it's white people. Let's continue. We got more, believe me. This next one is from Freeport, Louisiana. This should be fun. And we can probably get, you can probably guess all of what these are. One person on a live didn't wake a situation that wounded four outside closed CVS. Yeah. Let's go. Following some breaking news on an overnight shooting, it happened at a CBS at the corner of Hollywood Avenue and Hearn Avenue around 9 o'clock last night. Police say four people were hit by gunfire while socializing outside of that closed business in the parking lot. Two of those victims have life-threatening injuries, and all victims were taken to the hospital for treatment. Shreveport police are now investigating that shooting, but believe multiple shooters may be involved. Uh, yeah. And here, this one is in Sumter, South Carolina. Here. Four shot at Sumter Bar and Grill. Let's find out about this one. Asking for your help to learn more about a weekend shooting that left four people injured. We want to warn you, some of the video that you're about to see is graphic. Now, the shooting took place Sunday evening at Backyard Bar and Grill on Rast Street, which is near the Sumter Mall. WIS reporter... Jalen Tart brings us up to date on what we've learned about what happened. I spoke to the Sunder Police Department this afternoon, and at this time, they do not have a person of interest. However, they are still investigating this incident. In this video posted on Facebook, you can see a woman firing several shots outside the bar and grill. A Sunder Police Department spokesperson tells me that officers responded to the bar at around 6 p.m. on Sunday evening. SPD says four people were injured and taken to area hospitals where they are still being treated. I've reached out to the owners of the bar and grill via social media, but I have not heard a response back. 
Reporting in Sumter, Taylor Hart, WIS News 10. And again, Sumter police are asking anyone who has any information that might be of help to investigators to call one triple eight crime SC. And for the last one this week, for the last one this week, we go to Jonesboro, Arkansas. A mass situation as a private party in Arkansas left two, two unalived and four injured police said the suspect is also unalived. Yeah. Two people were unalived and four others were wounded in a situation in Jonesboro, Arkansas. According to law enforcement officials, the alleged shooter is unalived. Police said just before 5 a.m. Sunday, officers responded to a neighborhood where they found multiple victims with gunshot wounds, the Jonesboro Police Department said in a Facebook post. The shooting, the situation took place during a private party at an abandoned building in the city northeast of Little Rock. Police spokesperson Sally Smith told CNN. Yeah. The incident is one of, yeah. And you see why I do what I do. You see why? Because they want them numbers up to scare people. But I hope all of you have a wonderful evening. And remember, be good to one another because we are in this together. I will be back next week with another video to uh, show you what they don't want you to know. See you guys on the next one.